we've been talking about all the things that we can do with just the three dials. Now, can you show me what the fourth dial does? The fourth dial is the menu parameters dial, which is used to adjust pacing parameters in the selected mode of pacing therapy. Here's the pacing parameters menu. It is the primary display of the lower screen. What about this button with the pause symbol? What does that do? Oh, this is the pause key. It may be used for checking the patient's intrinsic activity. Just press and continue to hold the pause key. After 10 seconds, the device will revert back to program settings. I see. The message it states that pacing is suspended. Exactly. You know, there certainly are times when I need to adjust sensitivity settings. How would I do that? Well, let's change ventricular sensitivity. Use the arrows to highlight this parameter. Changing the setting is just a matter of turning the dial. Like we did for rate and output. What if I want a different value, say for the AV interval? You can manually adjust that parameter as well. Simply use the down arrow to highlight AV interval and turn the dial to the desired setting. So with the 5392, I can either fine-tune a therapy or let the device do it automatically. That's right. Notice that settings is set to automatic. Medtronic designed the 5392 so that any change in the rate automatically adjusts the AV interval, upper rate, and PVARP. Why don't you adjust the rate and see what happens? I see how this works. All I have to do is change the rate and the device will automatically adjust these rate-dependent parameters for me. And that's right. If there is a timing violation, a warning message appears in the lower screen and one of these rate-dependent parameters will need to be adjusted before adjusting the rate. This makes dual chamber pacing very easy. Now remind me, is it possible to just pick a pacing mode and have the device deliver that therapy without having to make any other adjustments? Certainly. The mode selection menu is displayed in the lower screen when the 5392 is turned on. But since we're in the pacing parameters menu, use the up and down arrows to highlight mode selection. And then press the enter key. Use the arrow keys to select the appropriate mode. So then I just press the Enter key to activate the new pacing mode. That's right. And remember, the current pacing mode is shown in the lower left corner of the upper screen display. Can you tell me what A tracking is for? Sure. With atrial tracking on, ventricular pacing will follow or track the atrial intrinsic rate. With atrial tracking off, the ventricle will always pace at the selected rate no matter how fast the atrium beats. So I would turn atrial tracking off for a patient with intermittent atrial arrhythmias? Yes. Is there any way to use the 5392 to treat episodes of atrial flutter? Of course. The 5392 can deliver a burst of rapid atrial pacing anywhere from 80 to 800 beats per minute. Let's go to the rapid atrial pacing screen. Use the down arrow to highlight rapid atrial pacing and press the enter key. Just set the rapid atrial pacing rate as needed by turning the dial and then press and hold the enter key. Do you have to program the 5392 to a specific mode prior to using it? No, you can deliver rapid atrial pacing no matter what mode the 5392 is programmed to, even if it is a non-atrial pacing mode. Can I try it? Sure, go ahead. Notice as long as the enter key is depressed, the 5392 will deliver rapid atrial pacing and the lower screen changes to display, delivering rapid atrial pacing. The flashing lights and setup indicator show that you are delivering asynchronous burst pacing in the atrium. Can I adjust the burst rate during delivery? Certainly, just readjust the burst rate during delivery with the dial. That was easy. Okay, I got it. So how do I exit this function? Once the enter key is released, it reverts to program settings. Now to exit this screen, press the arrow to highlight back and press the enter key. 
We now have seen all of the menus and learned how they can help you to fine tune a therapy. Don't forget that you can always deliver dual chamber pacing quickly by using just the top three control dials. I love how flexible it is. It'll be a great option for temporary pacing.